So we'll move around to the back of the house and I want to see how the extensions are. It's got a, a small carport on the back which has got some shaded areas on the house. We've got about an 18 inch overhang which is a shaded portion of the house. We've got intake ventilation which is in the soffit of the house. There are small vents. It's about 14 on the house. Uh, they are partially blocked with paint, but it's part of what I'm needing to see when I'm figuring my ventilation formulas. I also notice there's a roof vent on the house. We'll see that when we get around on the corners. We also notice that there is a utility room on the side of the house, and we're going to have to access. We've got a water heater in there. So is that part of the conditional or unconditioned space? So while I'm out here now, I'm going to look inside to see if the area is conditioned or non-conditioned. We're going to go up on the steps right now. I'm going to turn my back a second. And we noticed that there's a water heater. It's a gas vented water heater. And I've also noticed that there's a gas vented dryer in this unit. This is an unconditioned area. The top is open to the attic. So what I've got to find out is uh, if this wall is open to the interior wall, there's no air barrier on it. I've got insulation, but no air barrier. So I'm going to have to figure that into my assessment when I'm figuring my material list for the house is to add some type of air barrier to this wall, whether it be sheetrock, which could be sheetrock in this instance. And that would give me a, a good solid air barrier because the insulation doesn't fit very well, then it can also mean that I can add more insulation to that wall. When I've done that, I'm going to look to see if the dryer has a vent hood. Even though this dryer is not in a conditioned space, we're going to add a vent hood to it. And a metal vent hood because this is a gas dryer. Uh, we want to keep birds from getting in there, building a nest in there. It could plug the dryer up and actually catch it on fire. So we want to make sure this is a good dryer vent installed. And as we go around, we see uh, this window. We've got vinyl windows everywhere else. This is not in a conditioned space, so it's just a single hung metal window. It has no control on or value when I'm figuring uh, load size for this house. As we walk around, we notice that this is all shaded, so this part of the wall doesn't catch sun, so it's a cold wall. Uh, it's going to be cooler in the winter, cooler in the summer. And as I walk around, I'd like to stand back a little ways and look at my roof deck condition. Is the roof in sound condition? Uh, do I have missing shingles? Do I have look like I have any problems with the roofing system itself that would allow me not to insulate this house until those conditions are addressed? I've noticed that the roof is in fairly new condition. There's some stains on it, but I don't see any deteriorated or missing shingles. I'm going to go to the side of the house next and then see what we've got. Uh, an, we've got an ACOR unit and then we've also got a gas meter. So we want to locate those. Main reason is I want to check my ACOR to see what condition it is. So I'm going to move to that right now. 